Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways to use Workflowy for creative projects. All right, so I'm gonna call this first setup Infinite Zoom. Now, as you probably already know, Workflowy's main strength is zooming in. I don't know if it's actually infinite, but I've gone pretty deep, so I think you'll be okay. Anyway, in this example, I wanna show you how this infinite zoom setup can help you brainstorm your ideas. So yeah, I set up a writing example here, and this could be a book or a screenplay, and I have three different characters and things that they might do. And as you can see, I kept indenting with every action the character made. Now I know this might seem like super simple and that maybe I don't even need to be explaining it to you, but I just really want to show you how powerful Workflowy is when it comes to zooming in. Now this is a really great way to write and keep brainstorming as you go, but here's the thing, after you're done doing all that brainstorming and typing out all this stuff, you can just close these bullets. And now you have all this free space. But here's the catch. If I expand this one again, you could see all the other bullets underneath it, they're still the way that I left them. And this just allows you to keep all that structure intact. So you can see I'm basically left with three different scenes for three different characters. Well now I can just keep writing more scenes. So it never really matters how far you zoom in and what kind of mess you make. You can just hide all that mess by collapsing that top bullet. And then just press the enter key on your keyboard and you can start typing the next scene. So I like to call this setup Messy Room, Messy Tags. Now I'm sure most of you watching have had a messy room at some point or another. Well, we're gonna apply that messy room analogy to tags and Workflowy. In this example, we're gonna use tags to connect your ideas. Now the reason why I refer to this setup as a messy room is well, there's no organization, there's no indented bullets, everything is just in one list. Now this list is relatively short, but if you had a really long list, you can see why this might be a problem. But the good news is, tags are here to help. On the page here, I have a list of different shots for a short film project. And I've added different tags to each of these shots to help me organize them later on. As you can see here, I just added some simple tags for location, the type of lens, and the color temperature. So what's useful about this setup is that you can just keep typing and typing and typing all in one list, but as long as you add some tags to each bullet, you can filter those bullets later when you want to put things together. So let's say, for example, I only want to focus on shots being filmed inside. I can click on that inside tag, and now the only bullets being shown are the bullets that have that inside tag. All the other bullets are now hidden. Now let's just say you're ready to start filming and you want to organize all of these shots. Well, now that we have these inside shots filtered, we can create an inside parent bullet to put them under. Just highlight all those bullets you want to put underneath it and click the tab key on your keyboard. And now when we X out of our search filter for that tag, all of those shots that have that inside tag, well, they're now under that inside parent bullet. And let's say you want to separate your shots by what kind of lens you want to use. Click on that parent bullet, click on a lens tag, create that parent bullet again, put all those bullets inside of it. X out of your filter, and there you go. All the shots that you want to use your 70 millimeter lens, they're now under that parent bullet. And we can keep doing the same thing for all the other lenses that we have tags for. This is just a super powerful way to get your ideas on paper without feeling any restrictions up front, but still having the ability to organize all those bullets when you're ready. All right, I like to call this setup the conveyor belt, which is basically the list equivalent of a Kanban board. This setup is geared to help you move your ideas forward. On the page here, I'm using music as an example this time. We have some songs, a website, merch, and shows. Now if I click into one of the songs here, as you can see, this entire bullet holds all of the notes and information and tasks associated with this song. So by organizing your ideas and projects this way, allows you to keep all that project information all together in one bullet. And as you can see here, we have different types of information and tasks associated with this song. And let's just say we're done with all of these tasks. Highlight all those, click on that complete button right there. Those tasks are done. And let's go back to where we were. 
and we can just drag that song over to the done section. So yeah, this setup is just a really simple but powerful way to keep all of your creative ideas together while still giving you that big picture focus to make sure you're moving on to the next thing. And if you're a fan of the getting things done methodology, well, we can do that too. Now getting GTD to work inside of Workflowy isn't the easiest task, but I think I've got something here that'll work for you if you're interested. And as you probably noticed, this setup is very similar to the last setup. The main difference being instead of all of your tasks for a project being inside one parent bullet, the tasks are all spread out instead of being confined inside their own projects. So you might be asking me, well, how do I keep all this stuff organized? Well, we're gonna use tags. Now I'm gonna open my tag bullet here. And as you can see, I have my GTD areas, projects, and contacts all laid out for me. I've got my projects inside my areas, as you can see here, and I've capitalized my areas just so I can separate them from my projects. And for my contacts, I'm using the at symbol in my tags just to make it even more clear that these are separated from my areas and projects. Now Workflowy initially created these at symbol tags for you to tag people, but you don't have to use them for people. You can use them really for anything. Now when we go back to our main view, now if you want to see all your tasks for a certain project, just open up that tags bullet and click on all the tasks you want to see for that project. So yeah, this is just a really simple way to get a little bit more done inside of Workflowy with the GTD methodology. All right guys, for our last setup, we have templates. Templates are just a really simple hassle-free way to repeat and reuse ideas and projects. And on the page here, I have some templates for a podcast. And if I open that interview template, we have some tasks that I want to reuse. And inside the standard episode, we have some other tasks. So it's really simple. Hover your mouse over that bullet, click on duplicate. Workflowy will then generate a copy of that bullet. And as you can see here, if I open both of them, they're both identical. And let's just delete that title and we'll call that episode four drag it up to the episode queue and yeah, you're ready to go. This is just a simple way to get a new creative project going without having to reinvent the wheel. So yeah, there are many ways that you can do things inside of Workflowy. Those were just five setups that I thought I'd share with you to help boost your productivity for your creative projects. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more app related videos, please hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be putting on a lot of stuff very soon. And if you have any suggestions for apps you'd like for me to check out on this channel, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Jeff Isley. Until next time, I'll see you guys very soon.